Now, Voter still thinks that they should attend the matric farewell just for the food and to see who will win the biggest fool. And Lid's not sure. She's going to think about it. And we're back in the English class now with Mr. Macmillan. He's absent and Lynn daydreams about Scotland. Remember, travel for Lynn is a form of escapism. What are other forms of escapism for her? Well, her role as Weird Maria. For Brahm, how does he escape? By playing cricket and video spielikis, typically with his friend Dion. And Lynn feels angry and jealous when Ricky giggles near Voter. And she almost cries. She feels as though you know, she's, she's losing him. Vota and Ricky, maybe they have a bit of a thing going on. And Vota actually, in the end, does take Ricky to the matric dance. But Lin makes a peace with it because she takes Hein. Now, at the school gate, Mimi Spies invites Lin to Wumpy for lunch to celebrate her 18th birthday. And this is the start of something special. Lin knows very little about Mimi, except that she stays in a very luxury house on the mountainside of Pretoria and is drivel, drivel, driven to school in a black Mercedes. Who is the... Who is the name? Yo, where's where's my English going? What is the name of Mimi's driver? It's Joe. And they eat steak and chips. Steak and chips. Mimi says her mom is a bored soapy addict, but she does have a master's in applied mathematics. She's never worked and watches food programs all the time, but they actually have a chef. And Mimi's father is also quite far away from reality. You know, he's a big, posh businessman. He's never really at home. And when he is at home, all he does is spend time in his office and build these model aeroplanes, so model flichtes. And that's it. So even with all this money, um, Mimi and her family are not that well off. They've got a driver, they've got a chef, yes. So it's not like they're struggling to make ends meet, but, you know, the social aspect of the of the household is not particularly there. 